Hello castle lovers and royal family fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sienna and this is Curves on the Road. Today we're at the lovely castle of Luboka nad Vltavo. But I feel like I'm not properly dressed for it. Wait. That's much better. I think I'm appropriately dressed now for the occasion. We'll have a look around the castle. Follow your leader. Damn, I forgot my keys. Okay, so sorry you won't see the inside. A raven pecking the head of a Turk is a symbol of Schwarzenbergs. It's on their coat of arms and it was obtained by Adolf Schwarzenberg when he won a battle at Raab against the Turks. To get to the castle, you have to climb quite a steep hill. Normally, when the chateau is open, you can take a little train that will get you up. Let me introduce you to our royal coat. Most of the royal families breed horses. We have coats. At this castle we stress the modesty, so we have all our statues nicely covered. The owners of the castle, the Schwarzenbergs, were German and Czech aristocratic family. They were one of the most prominent European noble houses. The Schwarzenbergs are members of the German nobility as well as Czech. And they held the rank of princes of the Holy Roman Empire. Their roots trace back to lords in Middle Ages. The first medieval castle was built on this site in 13th century. Then it was rebuilt into a Gothic style and later in a Baroque by one of the Schwarzenbergs. Schwarzenbergs obtained this castle in 1661. The first prince of Hluboka was Johann Adolf von Schwarzenberg. Lucky chap, it's a cute house. I can see myself living in it, but cleaning, eh, somebody else has to do it. The inspiration for the architecture of this castle was the Windsor Castle near London. And yeah, you can see some resemblance here and there. I'm not even sure if this one's not prettier. It's definitely more coherent in the style, I would say. The current head of the family is Karel, the 12th Prince of Schwarzenberg. He's Czech politician, he's still alive, and back in the day he served as a Minister of Foreign Affairs in the Czech Republic.
On the way back from the castle, you can visit this nice church and check out some modern art. We are saying goodbye to Hluboka and we are moving to our next destination. We are right at the gate to enter the most famous place after Prague for foreign tourists and that's Český Krumlov. I actually have never been here before in my whole life and everybody's talking how they love it and I always thought that must be overrated. Come on. So we'll find out. Follow me. According to a legend, the name Krumlov is derivated from German Krumme Aue, which may be translated as Crooked Meadow. It refers to crooked meanders of the Vltava River. Český Krumlov then means Czech Crooked Meadow. There's a bear! Hey, buddy! It's having dinner. I love the idea of having bears in the castle mode. First of all, that's actually what was happening in Middle Ages, so it's authentic and it's just gorgeous. It gives it something special. Guys, you mustn't miss this. It's at the entrance to the castle and they have live bears there. Oh, that's the best thing ever. The castle of Český Krumlov is one of the most important historical sites in the Central European region. It was being built and reconstructed starting from 14th century until 19th century. In 1963, the town was declared a municipal preserve. And eventually, in 1992, the entire complex was included onto the list of UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Monuments. Look at that, it's so gorgeous! And the weather! Okay, I must admit, 
Chesky Krumlov is not overrated. It's really good and it's definitely worth visiting. I have to recommend it. It might be full of tourists, but look at the views. It's just breathtaking. I love it. Not only because I saw the bears, but everything is priceless. And no, it's not déjà vu. I just had to return when we were leaving the castle to see the bears again. So, here they are on the cute. Uh, one last bear. This one was made in 2012. It took 126 days to make and it weighs over 17 kilograms. And it's made entirely of marzipan. The main square actually looks like many other Baroque style squares that we've seen in different cities. Look when you need to be sure when it's time to eat and drink. Normally these narrow streets are crazy busy with tourists and restaurants and all the shops and now because of Corona everything is kind of sad and very very empty. That's all I had to show you today. I think we've seen lots of interesting places. Still, Chesky Krumov gets the first prize, I believe. No wonder it's a UNESCO heritage all over the city, because it's just priceless. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see me more traveling around Czech Republic and elsewhere. Have a lovely rest of your day and bye!